Hey everyone, I'm gonna go over five more pages in the math book. So today we're gonna start on page 509. And we're gonna be comparing weight, which is gonna be a little bit tricky, so we may need to modify things. Um, but starting on page 509, it says, find two different objects in the classroom, which you'll obviously find around the house, and tell which one is heavy and which one is light and to draw a picture of it. So just around my house, I found a book and a pencil. And I would have the kids pick it up and say which one's heavier, which one's lighter, and then they draw it. So right then there. you make sure the kids draw the heavier object down low because it makes the teeter-totter go down and the lighter object up high. On the back, it tells you to trace the lines comparing a shoe and a pencil. A shoe would be heavier. So you draw a line to the bottom of the scale because it's heavier and you draw a line from the pencil to the top of the scale because it's lighter. For two and three, it says circle the heavier object and draw an X on the lighter object. So what would be heavier, the computer or the mouse? And the kids would say, oh, the computer would be heavier. So you circle the heavier item and draw an X on the lighter. What would be heavier, the bike helmet or the bike? The bike. So you circle the bike and draw an X on the helmet. On page 511, you compare a paper clip to a lunchbox. Which one would be heavier? The lunchbox would. So you draw a line from the lunchbox to the bottom of the scale, because the one that's lower, because it would be heavier, and you draw one a paper clip to the top one, because it would be lighter. Of course, this is much easier to do with real objects, and feel free to modify it any way you want. And then five and six, you kind of do the same thing. You compare the two items, you circle the heavier, X the lighter, and up, oh, if they're the same, just like we did before, you underline them if they are the same, because green punch and red punch. On page same. eight, it says to draw an X on the items that are too heavy to lift. So I would not be able to lift the truck or the bed or the refrigerator or the elephant, but the other things I could lift. Page myself. 513, you do the same thing. Circle the heavier item, X the lighter. If they're the same, what do you do? Yep, you underline them. Guitar or harmonica, circle the heavier item, X the lighter one. On the back, same thing. Circle the heavier item, the watermelon, X the lighter one. What is that? Some sort of nut, maybe. Circle the heavier item, the rollerblade. X the whistle. Then on the bottom, you draw lines. Which one would be lighter? Oh, the goggles. Which one would be heavier? The goggles. Last gloves. two lessons of the week, we're going to be combining. We're going to be uh, heavier and lighter along with longer or shorter. So it says to choose two real world objects and draw them. So in my example here, I quickly drew a snake and a pencil. And I would say which one is heavier. So in my example, I drew a snake and a pencil. And the directions at the bottom say circle the object that is longer. So the snake is longer, so I would circle it. And then it says um, describe the weight of each object. Draw an X on the one that weighs more. So which one weighs more? The snake. So the snake weighs more and is longer. So on the back, you're going to compare two things. The first thing it says is to circle the object that is longer. So you can see that the pen is longer than the chalk, box of chalk. And then it says to X the object that weighs more. This might be kind of hard for them to conceptualize unless we have it in front of us, but the chalk would be heavier. Same thing with this one, number two. Which one is longer, the scissors or the pencil sharpener? The scissors are longer, so we circle it. And it says to draw an X on the one that weighs more, and the scissors would weigh more. So on the bottom, the easier one to compare is which one's longer. Clearly, the plastic wrap is longer than the tissues, and this 
can is longer than this one. The issue is with being heavier. Um, I would say this one's heavier. If you have any tissues or plastic wrap, you might want to compare whichever one is heavier. X, if you're not sure, just take your best educated guess. It, there's really no wrong, right or wrong answer here since we don't have. On our last page of the week, it says, look at the objects, describe the height. Circle the object that is taller. So taller or shorter. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna circle all the ones that are taller. The lunchbox, the hockey stick, the paintbrush, and the big water jug are all taller. Then it says, describe the weight. Draw an X on the one that weighs more. Well, I would say the lunchbox weighs more, the bowling ball weighs more, the big jug weighs more, and for this one, probably that can would weigh more. On the back, it says, look at the box of bandages, describe the objects in the row, circle the object that is longer and weighs more. Well, the box of cereal is longer and would weigh more. Then it says, look at the bowl, describe the objects in the row, circle the object that is taller and weighs more. Well, the bike would be taller and weighs more. And those are our pages for this week.